Ladies and gentlemen of the Agile world, Dump Jira. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, dumping Jira would be it. The long-term benefits of dumping Jira have been proved by anyone who's ever used it, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of Scrum. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of Scrum until they are faded. But trust me, in 20 years, you'll look back at photos of your team and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous your product really looked. You are not as bad as you imagine. Don't worry about the future. Or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to write an entire product backlog by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your product are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind. The kind that blindsides you at 4pm on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Talk. Don't be reckless with other people's feelings. And don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Refine. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember the compliments you receive? Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old tests. Throw away your old documents. Inspect and adapt. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what to do with your product. The most interesting products didn't start out where they ended up either. Some of the most interesting products I know still don't. Get plenty of feedback. Be kind to your scrum masters. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll launch. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll make millions. Maybe you won't. Maybe your product will collapse in eight weeks. Maybe it will keep going past its 27th anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance, as are everybody's else. Enjoy your code base. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument your team will ever own. Experiment. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room, Read the comments, even if you don't follow them. Do not read LinkedIn posts, they will only make you feel stupid. Get to know your management. you never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your colleagues. They are the best link to your success, and the people most likely to stick with you in the project. I understand that friends come and go, but for a precious few, you should hold on. Work hard to bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle in your teams. Because the older your product gets, the more you'll need the people you started building it with when you were young. Work in an enterprise once, but leave before it makes you hard. Work in a startup once, but leave before it makes you uh, hard, but in a different way. Travel to customers. Accept certain inalienable truths. Estimates will rise, management will fail. You too will get old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, estimates were reasonable, management were noble, and teams respected their coaches. Respect your coaches. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you have guaranteed funding, maybe you have a wealthy sponsor, but you never know when either will run out. Don't mess too much with your unit tests, or by the time you're launching, it will look like spaghetti. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia. Dispensing it is a way of fishing the past from the disposal, wiping it off, painting over the ugly parts, and recycling it for more than it's worth. Trust me on dumping geo.